a shoot today and a cat hair in my tea. It's an indie shoot, very similar to the last indie shoot that I think I showed y'all in one of the vlogs. It is actually the same director and this is his project. Last time he was directing somebody else's project and after working with him the last time, he reached out to me and asked if I wanted to work in this project too without an audition, ooh, ooh. but it's just for one line. But it is like a 1940s themed movie so I get to wear some cute clothes and uh, have some cute hair and makeup I think. Yeah, I just got up and took a shower. I'm going to do hardly anything because there's a great uh, makeup artist that's gonna be doing stuff for me, but I did tell her I would try to prep my hair and give it some volume so she can do whatever she wants for the 1940s look. And then I don't really need to do anything to my face except when I go to a shoot and you are supposed to come with nothing on your face except like moisturizer so that the um, professional makeup person can do your makeup professionally. I still usually curl my lashes and at least comb my brows if I don't fill them in. And I will use a little bit of concealer if I have like an active breakout. Uh, right now I don't think I do, I just have a little bit of markings, but I don't think that's anything I need to actually cover up. And I try not to cover up my under eyes because they're really dark and I need that makeup artist to work their magic to cover those up for um, the screen. Whatever they've got is better than what I've got, I guarantee. So yeah, I don't have a ton to do um, either before the shoot or during the shoot. Uh, it should be a pretty relaxed day. a little bit. She asked if I had sponge rollers, which I do not. So I was like, do I'm going to curl it and pin it? Which I'm going to attempt. I think it's not going to be right. She told me not to stress about it too much, so I won't. But um, my camera battery will die if I just leave this on for the next hour while I attempt to do whatever I'm going to do. So I'm going to turn this off and I'll see you in a second. Voila! It looks really crazy and I have to stop and get gas. So let's see how that goes. I think I'll just put a little scarf over my head and like hopefully I have not completely ruined my hair for the makeup artist today. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'll see you on set. The shoot went really well. Um, it was a fun day. It was a long day of me not doing anything until the very end, but I thought it was great. I got to hang out with a lot of cool people. Uh, the professional photographer on set took a few photos of me that she said she was gonna send, and so I'll share this with you because I think that they're gonna look pretty amazing. I don't remember if I took any video while I was in wardrobe, but my clothes were cute too. But, um, I'm kind of just enamored right now with 
how I look. I think I look really cute. <laughs> and uh, I love my hair like this. I think it looks um, fancy and sweet and very 1940s. So yeah, good day on set. Good day overall. And um, yeah, good day. Okay, bye. <laughs>
in my account. So I need to find something else to get from them this month. I was looking up Tokidoki, what they have for Tokidoki, and they didn't really have anything that I don't already have. But I think I have the whole month. I think I have into mid-October to use that. So hopefully something will come up. I just want something small and inexpensive so that that $5 really makes a dent and I get something for only a couple of dollars it would be ideal. Okay, that is it for now and I will see you in a little bit. Bye. Today is a very special day. Today is National Movie Day. I think that's what it's called. And I'm gonna take advantage of that by going and seeing three movies at the theater today. I'm already running late. I have seven minutes to get to the theater before the first movie starts, but I figure it's okay if I miss some previews. Um, the movies that I'm going to see are, I already forgot, so I have to look it up. Nope, 3,000 Years. It might be a longer title than that, but what I wrote down was 3,000 years. And Elvis! I'm gonna go see Elvis tonight with a friend, but the other two I'm gonna go try to see right now back to back. I hope it works. I hope that they let me buy multiple tickets for, um, oh that's, <laughs> that's kind of an important bit for the National Movie Day. Tickets are three dollars only, and so I think that's very, um, very inexpensive, a very good price. So I'm taking advantage of that, and I'm gonna see if they'll let me buy multiple tickets at the booth and you know what if they don't I can buy the tickets online I just have to pay an extra like dollar 25 for a convenience fee which is stupid but still worth it 425 for a movie I'll take it so that's what I am doing right now trying to put on my very adorable new Havaianas and jump in the car to go to the movie theater and watch a bunch of movies so I'll see you a little bit later and I will let you know how they were was successful, successful movie day. So I did see my three movies. I started off with Nope, which I thought was very good. If it's still in theaters, wherever you are and you haven't seen it yet, you should try to see it. If you're okay with a movie that has jump scares in it, because there's some jump scares, but I thought it was a really, really well blended horror slash comedy it wasn't actually a comedy, but there were some funny bits, which like, I feel like always just enhances any movie. It doesn't matter even if it's a drama, just a few chuckles here and there keeps me happy. <laughs> that was definitely um, a really good movie. And then I saw 3,000 Years of Longing. I think that's what it's called. And I didn't like it. It wasn't like a horrible movie, but it was the kind of movie where like, I was just sitting there being like, when is it gonna end? Is it gonna go anywhere? Uh, didn't really believe what was happening. I mean, it's it's like a fantasy fairy tale type movie, but things happen in it where I was like, that does not seem believable. That one definitely wasn't my favorite, but hey, it was only three bucks, so it's all right. And then finished off the evening with Elvis, which I thought was a pretty good movie. I think it was a bit longer than it needed to be. It wasn't that long. It's just like two and a half hours or something. I knew that Elvis's story was sad anyways, but I didn't really know like the details and that um, movie probably takes some liberties. I mean, it's some parts of it seem very um, fantastical, kind of like Rocket Man, but like not quite, but you know, just, it's not just like a, a straight movie. But boy, he was like so taken advantage of and like the one big thing that I kept thinking throughout the film was, this reminds me of Britney Spears. The way his manager just tricked him into performing and stuff when he didn't want to or places he didn't want to and then would threaten him with lawsuits when he didn't want to do whatever the manager wanted him to do and the way the manager roped him into doing five years of Vegas when that's not what he wanted to do. He wanted to tour the world. It just, so many small pieces of that reminded me of Britney. What a sad story some of these celebrities have when people grab hold of them and take advantage of them and are just out for money and they'll make them do whatever so that they can get money and grind them into the ground. 
it's crazy and so sad. But it was a really good movie and I do recommend watching that as well. I still think my favorite from the day was Nope. I would probably watch that again if it comes out on some kind of streaming service in the near future. Have you seen any cool movies lately? Let me know. I was just talking to my friend this evening about how I haven't even really known what was going to be in theaters. I saw that it was National Cinema Day and I was like, I wonder what movies are in theaters because I don't have regular TV and so I don't see commercials and I don't see trailers regularly. Sometimes I'll just randomly see one when I'm scrolling through YouTube and that's how I know to, to like be on the lookout for some movie that's coming out. If you have seen any good movies lately, let, let us know in the comments. I'm curious so that I can maybe watch them. I'm gonna get a snack and go to bed. Thank you.